Welcome everybody to Road of the Show 144. As you can see, records are O and O. And I am still a member of the Chicago White Sox. I will explain that throughout the episode. It is opening day. We start on the road against the Royals. Let's see if we get those cutscenes, you know, those beautiful, awesome ones for opening day. I hope they better have some sweet ones. Right now we're just kind of panning the field and I'm hoping there's going to be something cool. They're talking about the Royals right here. Okay, I skipped that. Now we're getting this cutscene. There you go. It says 2020 season game. So it is 2020 now. And like I said, I will explain the whole situation with me still being a Chicago White Sox, trying to go to different teams. Nothing for opening day, really. Maybe we'll get one when we go home, but I guess I don't get anything right here. That's kind of a bummer. I'm rookie of the year from 2019. That feels great. Dallas Keuchel is a member of the Kansas City Royals. Interesting. Interesting indeed. All right. Well, we did not make the playoffs last year. Here's the lineup. I'm batting seventh. Colby Rasmus, that's new addition right there. Here we go. Will we get to me in the lineup? And no, oh, that's three outs. And now we are fielding against Edgar Salas. Here I am, you know me, Austin Kleschka, number 27, trying to turn a double play. Hopefully we get that done. Come on, I'm moving back, and this is right at me. Oh, it's slow though, come on. Get that guy there, and do we get this one too? No, fielder's choice. That sucks, okay, and we got out of, or they, they got one run, one. All right, what's the situation? Uh, advanced runner to third or better, all right, I like that. Where is he standing though? He's on first, okay. That's all right, though. Facing Dallas Keuchel for the first time, I think. I'm pretty sure. Let's see if we get something good. That's right at the third baseman, and that is very sad. Send the next appearance. That guy has a mustache, if I do say so myself. I'm still trying to go back to third. That's where I started my career, but they've had me at second ever since they moved me in the minor leagues. Hopefully now Keuchel, oh my goodness, got me way out in front. And almost killing my teammates. You saw them all duck and cover. I'm a rookie of the year, all right? I have to just show my status that I am elite. Here we go. This. Come on. Come on. Yes, they're not catching up to that. And he's getting the third or better. Are they going to send him? Are they going to send him? They did. Who are they going to throw for? They're going to throw for me, but I'm safe. Triple. There we go. A go-ahead triple. Love that. All right. I look very excited, and now, that, like I said, off Keuchel. I wonder how he ended up on the Royals. If he signed with them in the offseason instead of going to the Braves, was he traded there? Uh, hey, the base coach has my number now. James McCann's batting. What number does James McCann have? Let's see next episode if I can change my number. And speaking, oh wait, what? James McCann still has 33. How come the base coach has 33? Why do you get to all have 33 and I'm stuck over here, you know, with 20? I, I don't hate 27, but like, I want my favorite number. I really do. 3 to 1, Keiko's still on the mound. 94 pitches, and is this? No, it's right to the left fielder. Don't. Oh my goodness. Didn't really get to have any enjoyment in that. Now it's Albert, Adalbert, Adalberto Montesi, not Alberto, Adalberto. Now, let's talk about why I'm still on the Chicago White Sox. That is because, and I'm sure some of you know this. Hold on, let me turn this double play right here, Timmy Anderson, except that guy's got 94. Did we turn it still? We still turned it. All right. Anyways, you have to have six years of Major League experience before you can become like a free agent and like choose where you want to go. That is ridiculous. I got one down, this is year two for me, but you guys, this is what I'm thinking. Instead of playing this entire season, I think I'll go to just like the most important moments and then play those. Like I'll, I'll definitely like hit games throughout the season, but like I'll stop at the all-star game, I'll stop at like, you know, just big moments. Or like whenever I play a team that I just feel like showing you guys, or if it's a big game that has to do with like the division or something, then I'll stop. But oh my goodness, Tim Anderson. But I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think that's the best idea until I either get traded, then I'll do every game, you know, like how I did for my first season with the White Sox, or until 
the six years. But if I do like the most important moments, then the six years will fly by, and then I'll be able to choose a team. So you guys let me know. I think that's what I'm going to do. That's a foul ball. If you guys have a better idea, I think that's the best idea, because then I can go to more teams, and then it'll make you guys happier. I want to go to as many teams as possible. This is foul. Darn it. So I think that's the best way to get that done. Let me know what you think in the comments. I really need your guys' help on this one. That's right up the middle. All right, 3-3 tie. I still need my first stolen base of the season. I'll be right here. So yeah, like I said, either do like a fast forward version of six years because six years is a long time, guys, a long time. And we all know this Road to the Show series would go like, what? 500 episodes before I finally get to choose the team that I get to go to that's just the way the game's made by the way I'm not like that's not like a rule I'm making up most like I said some of you know this that's the rule in the game you can't choose your own team until you've played six years in the major leagues so I have to I have to go through that uh, like I said, I got one down, so I think the best way to get that done is to either have a fast-forward version with the White Sox where I only play the most important games, or unless you guys have a better idea, let me know. Let's play another game. So unfortunately, we lost the first game, opening day. The Royal, I mean, that's always more appropriate. The home team wins opening day. Tanner Roark's on the Royals as well. And the home team did win, the Royals. But, of course, I always want the victory. We're winning 1-0 currently. I'm going to add more, hopefully. This is going to be down the line. Send them, send them, send them. I don't know who it is, but send them. Okay, I don't get to go two because my teammate didn't go three. But I got an RBI down the line. RBI single. I'll take it. Love that bat and clutch goes up. And contact. I mean, contact's always nice. Look at this down the line. Boom. I mean, not the best hit in the world, but a hit that gets the job done. First time seeing Colby Rasmus on the Chicago White Sox. Is he even on a major league team anymore? You guys can let me know that one. I haven't seen Colby Rasmus in a while now that I think about it. Here we go. Colby Rasmus strikes out. Yeah, that's probably why we haven't seen him in a while. He's got a very caveman looking beard going on there. Tanner Roark's pumped. He's like, yeah, I got the strikeout. But you also gave up two runs, Tanner Roark. So I wouldn't be exactly on top of the mountain right now. And oh my god, this is content. Who is this first baseman? Who are you? Where's Jose Abreu, Yonder Alonso, or uh, CJ Crone? Who is that? I have no idea what happened to our three first basemen. I guess we have four now. I gotta look at the roster. I gotta see what's changed. Here we go. This pitch on the way. Okay, going for the double play. We're gonna try. We're gonna turn it there. And oh, we got him. He's 18 speed. Double play. Yes. Nice pick from that first baseman though. I, dude, he is a scrawny first baseman. I don't know where he came from. Maybe our minor league system. Maybe we picked him up. I don't know. I don't know who it is. So, got to figure that out. Here's Tanner Roark. And this, is this the first, uh, no, I was going to say maybe the first home run of the season. But did not get it far enough. Darn it. It's 4-0 though. I'm content because we're winning. And 7-0. Now I'm really content. Here we go. Trying to get the first home run on the season. Is it going to be here? This is high. And it's going to be caught by the center fielder. That is out. Darn it. All right. Well, that's a bummer. Let's see what we got next. I'll, at, I, once again, at Alberto, not Alberto Mondesi. Here we go. That's, dude, that small first baseman. It keeps getting me. All right, here we go. Nice and easy. Throw this over here. You are out, buddy. All right. Still rocking the Spidey Glove, of, of course. Always going to be rocking the Spidey Glove. One for three today with that RBI. Seven to one. Top of the eighth. Trying to get the first home run on the season. We have not hit it yet. Let's see if it comes right here. And ew, he got me way out in front. If I waited on that, probably killed. But I did not. Hopefully now I will get a pitch to crush. This is not a pitch that I crushed, but it's caught. Darn it. <laughs> Are you kidding me? So am I only going to have that RBI single? Hopefully we can add on to it. All right, Rhino Hearn. Let's see, nine to two. We just keep adding more, which makes me happy. Nine to two, runner on first, trying to turn double play. It's the ninth, so this will be two outs in the ninth, and they'll be down their last out right now. Yes, double play. 
All right, yeah, two outs, two outs. And I love that, love that. And we won. All right, well, thank you, everybody, for watching this episode. If you made it to the end of the video, then comment opening day 2020, because that's the year we're in, and it was opening day. We are one in one after our first two games. Like the video, subscribe, tell your mom, your dad, your grandma, your grandpa, your pets, your friends, and everybody you know, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>